What is COVID brain fog? A concerning side effect of COVID-19 is the lingering cognitive or thinking difficulties, which we often call brain fog. Here are some of the symptoms that people have experienced with brain fog. Dizziness, fatigue, decreased attention, memory loss, poor executive functioning, and even headaches. Up to 20% of COVID-19 patients have experienced these symptoms weeks after they've recovered from typical COVID-19 symptoms. It's not entirely clear how a respiratory virus in your lungs can lead to cognitive side effects. It might come from inflammation in the brain. COVID-19 activates the entire immune system, and this can last for months, and this can affect connections in the brain. A study of brain tissue from pe people who died of COVID-19 showed evidence that COVID-19 causes molecular changes in the brain, even with no trace of virus in the brain, meaning a general body inflammatory response is likely. We don't yet know who's likely to get this post-COVID-19 brain fog, but there might be a link between the brain fog and the loss of smell that some people get during the infection. You also don't need to have severe COVID to develop brain symptoms. Even patients who had mild disease and recovered well may develop this post-COVID brain fog. And even if just 10% of people infected get these symptoms, with over 130 million cases in the world, there's a whole lot of need for research in this area. And there has been more research in this area. The National Institutes of Health is giving more than a billion dollars to research into long COVID. There are also now online support groups and clinics to work with people with this condition. Now the cognitive symptoms of long COVID sound a lot like those of survivors of brain injury from other causes. Brain injury from any cause can lead to headaches, dizziness, fatigue, decreased attention, memory loss, and poor executive functioning. And often, people with brain injury do not get the treatment they need. Often people fall through the cracks. Cognitive therapy for these difficulties may be difficult to find or denied by insurance. Perhaps research into the cognitive effects of COVID-19 will help all brain injury survivors. Also, some of the treatments we use for brain injury, such as cognitive therapy, may help people with COVID-related brain fog. And we need a lot more help for people with brain injury, whether it's related to COVID or any other cause.